Okay, this is my review of Master Lee Cosplay, or Anthony Lee, in his design for, um, it's supposed to be a female superhero Iron Man kind of spin-off. Um, there. Doesn't even look like female boobs at all. Not rounded, very square. Um, helmet does not fit. You can see uh, some of the quality. Whoop. Sorry about that. So I spent $8,000 on this suit. He started getting payments from me in um, March of this year. That's just a glove with these, looks like they're glued on. Uh, there's no grip. You can't, I can't even grip a, a baseball on this and I need to throw out a baseball tomorrow. Um, I'm just gonna go show you some of the quality here. And you can see where the paint is chipping off and this is just out of the box. See the paint is already chipping off. This isn't just me that has complained about this. This Other people have complained about this too as well. Um, starting, I guess, in 2010, 2011. I want you to know what you're getting into when you purchase this. I made the mistake of paid him as a friend on PayPal. Do not pay him as a friend. Pay him as a business, because then PayPal should be able to back you up. This suit was supposed to be a purple. You can see it's a blue. Uh, purple was supposed to signify hope, and the name of my character here is Hope. All right. This piece here just looks hideous. I mean, that, yeah, this is just hideous. Inside this, you can see the Velcro. I have to fix this because it is poking me in the chest so I'm gonna try and put mole skin on here then I'm gonna try and ugh, try. get it as close as I can to the body uh, the pieces are bent as you can see there it's bent just I am not happy whatsoever at all with this and look at that paint where it's not supposed to be I um, requested uh, the paint from him so that I could touch up some of these pieces that are chipping. Look at that. He now, and that's his on-off markers, he has now blocked my messages on Facebook. So I can't even get a hold of him anymore. I didn't even notice this. That must have been from him painting it. But, yeah. This is $8,000. My cat hairs. Don't mind them. I'm going to also post um, photos of... I'm going to take screenshots of the conversations that I had with him in which he was supposed to include an extra chest plate and that chest plate was supposed to say uh, belief, hope, inspire, um, that kind of thing. And you could see that on that chest plate the, the chest is completely totally off. The one on this, where is my finger, this side is lower than that side. So, yeah. Yeah, that's just horrible. Um, he took a two-week vacation to Canada to see his family. He then told me his computer crashed for a week, week and a half, so he wasn't able to work on this. Um, he told me the extra amount was for how much work was involved. Obviously, you can see that he didn't do that. 
I mean, look at that. Um, uh, let's see what else. What else? What else? What else? Uh, it's not even painted the right color. It's more square than it what it's supposed to be. Oh, I can't bend the legs. Legs cannot bend. So the most I can bend is right there. Can't bend fully. It hits. So we'll not be able to squat down. We'll not be able to possibly go upstairs. Hmm. Arms have no place of being able to attach to uh, the chest piece in which I bought Velcro to try and attach them, which I don't know if I'm going to be able to do it that way or not, but as you can see, they don't attach. It's just like they're supposed to hang, and I am not that big. Let's see if I can... Um, I could spin this whole thing around in my arm. So this thing is constantly moving down on me. Cuts into my uh, wrist right there. I'm going to have to wear some guards. I'm hoping that I can maybe put Velcro on right there and Velcro it underneath the, the, the top of the shoulder pad. Or bottom of that shoulder pad right there. We'll see if that will work. I don't know if it will work or not. Uh, but for eight thousand dollars on this thing no do not purchase from master lee cosplay my rating um you know if I, we're supposed to give them a five star being the best i wouldn't even give them a one star i mean this this quality is completely horrible compared to what he puts out for his own cosplay um his work that he does for himself is good but what he does for other people, not so good. So I do not recommend him. I mean, I could have bought a suit for $1,500 and gotten better quality than this and had it completed in a heck of a lot quicker time and it not be wrong in every aspect. The color, the bulkiness of it, which you'll see later on, um, I'll add into the video what it was supposed to look like and what I got. I specifically did, um, a, like I said, I wanted a female version of it. Um, I did not, I got a male version of it, which if I would have done the male version, I would have done like a pink kind of theme to it so you could tell that I was a girl, but you can't tell I'm a girl in this suit. You just can't. So definitely down the road, I'm going to have to have a new suit built. Um, supposedly there's someone where I live, which I didn't even know about that does this, which would be pretty, excuse me, pretty nice. I can just contact them. Again, I do not recommend it. Share this video. Let people know that this is his quality of work. He does not stand by it. Like I said, he is blocking me from being able to send him messages. So I do not recommend him. Again, that's Master Lee Cosplay. Um, and his real name is Anthony Lee. And he's out of Colorado. I believe the PayPal address has something like Elite or Custom Elite. I think it's Custom Elite or... Yeah, Custom Elite or Customs Elite. One of the two. But again, anybody that's had this problem, send me a message and, and let me know what your outcome was. Or what, Oh, the helmet. I didn't even get into the helmet. That's one thing I didn't get into. I think I told you that it didn't fit, but I'm going to show you just how bad it doesn't fit. All right, let's see if I can do this without wrecking it even more. All right, got to put it on can't see out of this thing but you might be able to hear me maybe you can't hear me if you can't hear me uh, I apologize I'm just gonna shake my head so you can see what it looks like hopefully you'll see it again can't really see I have a very 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 tiny slot which this is how it should fit if I'm going to see anything. But if I look, it's going to completely totally fall off. So hopefully you can see that and or you heard that. I have no clue how it's going to sound. Oh, that might have been sideways. Dang it. Sorry. So yeah, that's the suit. Not happy. All right. Good luck to whoever has a suit built. If you know of somebody good, um, 
that it can make it more rounded rather than it's bulky, I am looking to have someone do a new suit. Thanks, and talk to you later. Bye. Alright, so what I what I did to fix the helmet is I put in uh, football pa uh, cheek pads, and I put the moleskin and poked a hole through it and bought some, um, uh, let's see, they're uh, Soology fasteners, snaps, from Hobby Lobby, and then I bought a foam seat for a boat, and I cut off a piece of it to add in extra padding, because uh, there wasn't much padding here at all, it's a hard padding, so this gives a little bit more cushioning, um, so that's what I had to do to the helmet, because it didn't fit. Okay, so what you are going to see now is going to be conversations that I had with Max Irving that based in those conversations he was going to do um, all these different things to the suit we never did. Like example, one of them is put pockets in it so that I could put cold packs in it. He was also going to build a special compartment that I could put like little medallions in it so I could hand out to kids and so forth. Um, I was doing this mostly for charity and then also to create little short films on uh, like YouTube and that kind of stuff, but with the suit now, I just, I can't do that. And then after this, I'm going to show you a video of what the suit looks like now for only wearing it for about three hours. So I'm going to start a slideshow here, and on the slideshow, you can see the conversations in which um, I had with him, and it might be hard to follow it because some of these are out of order, so I'll try and explain them as I go. This is, he blocked me from uh, Facebook, can't send him messages anymore. That's one address that he gave me. Said he was going to include um, instructions to paint it because it's not the correct color. You might have to pause this too as well to read these. But I don't want this vid video to be, you know, like 30 minutes long. Again, he didn't get back to me right away. Him pissing off. It was supposed to be shipped on the 23rd. They didn't ship it till the 25th. In there somewhere too, I think, was uh, a different address. Him telling me that's not going to be quality cosplay. This is where he's in Canada for a while. A week and a half, two weeks, something like that.
That's what the suit was supposed to look like. I think that's the second address there, maybe. He never sent me, I, I'll have to show you a picture of that, uh, showing that I paid $8,000 for the suit. It just says zero balance. But I do have a PayPal screenshot of all the payments that went to him. Those are to show you what he's capable of doing. to show that I sent him measurements without putting my measurements in there. Again, example of his suits that he's done. And this is the can't reply to the conversation anymore. Which another one I sent to him. Conversations to show that he agreed upon uh, doing things that he never did, which I explained some of them, and I'm probably forgetting more. That's why I included those screenshots. And, um, next is going to be what the suit looks like now, um, three hours later, wearing it. I wore it two different times, and there's like three or four pieces that I've already broken off of it. And in those conversations, if you read it, you stop it and pause it and read it, it says that it's going to be very durable for a very long time, and it's very strong. So, yeah, that, that's not the case. Alrighty, thanks. I'll be back again soon. Alright, so, here's what the suit looks like now, after wearing it for uh, about three hours. Both pieces broke. We had to add in extra Velcro because these are too big. You can see where all the paint is wearing off. This piece doesn't even fit around my neck. Can't even wear it. Helmet. I think I saw you this, but I had to re-rig it. This piece broke off. there and you can see all the paint already coming off
can see what's happening to the forearms and the uh, biceps, especially on this one. This is on my left arm. That's what the suit is doing to it, and it's bruised me up pretty dang good. Okay, check out what's happened here. Completely wearing off. See the black is wearing off there. See writing there. Again on this side. Green. Oh, and up there. And inside. Last piece. Scratch marks. So that's it. That is what happened after three hours worth of wearing it. Um, I did file a complaint with the Better Business Bureau. Like I said, he gave me two different addresses. I have two different emails for him. Um, hopefully I can uh, return this and get a refund. Hopefully the Better Business Bureau will get a hold of him. So, again, do not buy a suit from him. Don't do it. Good luck if you did.